decide to make a home about this subject. Well, I got a phone call from Peter Jackson and Sharon Walsh. Um, they have been What do you hope that can happen with this film to further, uh, to actually get them exonerated, to get the Western of the Street, their, their names clear? Is that even possible at this point? Um, well, we hope that this film is a call to action. I mean, we obviously, some of the families are here to serve victims' families, and we hope that there are people who have seen We lay out you know, the facts of this. We hope that you go to the next level and just play. Great. I'm sure there are many questions. Uh, just, uh, do we have microphones here? So just raise your hand and we'll repeat your question. So Who's here? Oh I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, before we do that, let's um let's let Amy introduce some people. I'd like to ask, uh, first of all, thank you, Amy, for making this night possible, and to Peter and Fran. But I'd like to ask the lawyers, what is it that keeps you from not giving up when everything in this movie seemed to be against the moment that we see on the screen in the end? So let me repeat that um, real quick for the audience. Um, it's directed to the lawyers, and the basic question is, is what keeps you from giving up? Um, when it seems like the, the end of the film would never happen, so if you can address that. Uh, Dennis Reardon, uh, my partner Don Horgan, uh, we came into the case for only the last seven years, um, and not nearly as long as Gloria and Damien. Um, it, it was often very, very difficult. Um, all of, uh, you're dealing with people who are in pain and suffering through all of this, um, and uh, the, I suppose the, the principal engine was that as difficult as it was, uh, we knew there was this extraordinary man and his extraordinary wife who, uh, who uh, were facing you know, far more than we were. It was, a, it was an honor uh, to work on their behalf. Yeah, and, and just to add to that, I guess it was, uh, you know, being, the more we familiarized ourselves with the case and, and looked at what had gone on before and, and kept 
looking at the new things that we're surfacing with Brandon Peters' help and all the investigation. I mean, the, the problems with the trial were so, it was just saturated with, with uh, problems at every level. And every time you turned a corner and looked elsewhere, there was something else that, that was just hard to, to uh, realize ever could have happened during this conduct, the way the police operated, the way the prosecution dug its heels in, the way the judge responded. It was just bad at so many levels. And we knew we had believed always in Damien's innocence, but it, it motivated us always, I think, to try to find a way through this labyrinth. And there were lots of roadblocks, uh, to be sure, and the legal process is so uh, glacial in its pace, but um, we knew that we were, it would, we prevail you know, with, with the support of so many people, and this was such a huge effort by so many people, uh, that it would happen someday. Um, but we believed in and we, we knew that we had a righteous cause. That's what kept us going, I think. Uh, I agree with all of that. Uh, what really kept me going were Lori Davis and Fran Walsh. They were absolutely relentless. They knew everything about the case. Whenever I needed anything, they were right there. They were pushing. They kept me going. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 